Topps has just released their new super box for their update series in 2023. In it, you get 10 retail packs, a jumbo card, a collective exclusive pin, and a pack of five silver pattern foil boards. Is this worth it? Is it better? then two blaster boxes. Let's check it out. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eagle Man. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna be opening up a super box and comparing it to two blaster boxes of 2023 Tops Update. The super box goes for $40 retail and one blaster box typically goes for about $25. So if you get two, it's about 50 bucks. I actually got these two blaster boxes on a discount at about $40 total. So this will be a decent comparison. Although it isn't a big sample size, we are gonna get a good gauge at what these super boxes yield. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We do all sorts of sports card content on this channel. Let's go ahead and get started because we got a lot of packs to be opening up. Let's start with our super box because I'm very excited. I've never opened up these. They released some of these in part of the 2023 series one stuff. Wow, that punctured right through. I thought there'd be plastic coating in there. But they did this with series one. I never got a chance to open them up. They didn't do it for series two, which I was kind of surprised about, but I'm glad they brought it back for their update series. Let's go ahead and get everything out of this box. Here's what the back looks like. I can barely fit it on the screen here, but there's all the names for the collectible pins that you can get. And then here's a couple more stats about what you can get in there. A couple of the odds that you can get. So really good packaging. It's very appealing, very colorful, very bright. Go ahead and get this out. There, there's a lot going on. I'm trying to be careful not to ruin the set. Take off this protective cover. Amazing display of everything, amazing packaging, I must say. So here's our five silver board. What are they called? Silver pattern foil board. We get glued packs together. These are all glued together. It's kind of cool. We get 10 of them, but I'm curious about this jumbo card. What does this look like? Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, nice. So we do get one like mini card that's kind of thrown about here. That's a Riley Green rookie debut. Okay, and then our jumbo card is a Zach Neto rookie. I mean, this thing is huge. Jumbo Zach Neto in the back. It's like an actual just jumbo sized card there. So very cool. This just looks like it's a cover card. That's kind of cool to decorate with though. And then uh, we got an exclusive pin. Let's go ahead and check out this pin. All right, see what we get in here. How do we open this up? Packaging is not easy to open. So we'll just cut it open, see what we get. I know we can get a Gunnar Henderson, which would be cool. Pretty high quality. Let's see what we get here. Jordan Walker, I think, Jordan Walker. Oh yeah, it does say that right in the back there, Jordan Walker. So very cool. Nice Jordan Walker collectible pin there, pretty nice. It does say it on the back, it's kind of hard to read. But that's really cool, I like the tops of this, they're doing something different, so that's pretty neat. I like it, take that Jordan Walker pin. Jumbo Zach Neto. Now let's go ahead and open up our packs. I'll do a speed rip of these. They are all glued together, which is really annoying, so it's kind of tough to open. So that's kind of annoying dealing with like all the the glue and everything but with 2023 update this is actually my first time opening up 2023 update this year so as i've always said in the past update is a timeless product it will always be timeless just because it's a great rookie class usually it's filling up the the update packs so i'm hoping to find at least something good i mean i know the retail packs as of late i've just been abysmal pretty rough to deal with so if we can get, I don't know, one gold card maybe, maybe a hit. We'll open up this stack before we open up any more. So let's see who we got going on here. First time opening up update. Of course, it's the exact same design, new checklist. Nothing crazy. There's Matt McLean rookie. We got Bobby Miller insert. We got a Hunter Brown stars of MLB. Looks like we get one of those per pack. I got this one from Target. So I don't know if we get any Walmart exclusive or Target exclusive parallels from there. And yeah, I know the cards are flipped every which way, which is really, really annoying. We got a Bo Bichette laid out insert. That's kind of cool. Like that one. Got a Jordan Walker here. It's a nice Jordan Walker rookie. And we got Peyton Battenfield rookie. Grayson Rodriguez rookie. That one, uh, that one's not terrible. Let's flip it around. We got a gold card here, Kevin Kelly gold. Here we go, it's a serial numbered Kevin Kelly rookie gold for the Tampa Bay Rays. I love gold cards, that's pretty awesome. So far so good. We got ourselves a gold card, Kodai Senga, stars of MLB rookie. Forgot he was in this set, that's a good one to get. Oscar Colas, Drew Maggi rookie, Casey Schmidt, Turnbull. So not a bad checklist to be working with here, especially if you get it of a good parallel. 
Bellinger. We got Grayson Rodriguez rookie. There we go. That one's not terrible. Gunnar Henderson rookie. Very nice. There's the Zach Neto mini compared to the, the large one there. I wish the Jumbo was of a bigger name, but that's I guess it's not bad. We got a rookie. And this one's flipped around. Oh, it's a foil. That's why. Michael Bush foil rookie debut. So far, we're not really pulling anything big here. We do get a Topps black and gold Derek Jeter insert. It's pretty nice. Put that with the Gunnar Henderson rookie as well. So that's our first half of the cards done. We did get a serial number. Let's open up our next few packs. Again, thank you guys for tuning in for today's video. If you're new, I would love for you to subscribe and join more. Uh, for more content, that is, we have tons of sports card content going on in this channel. So I really appreciate you guys tuning in and sticking around as we compare the Super Box to a couple blasters of the same product. Here we go. With our next half, actually the last half of these cards coming in from the Super Box, we get a uh, Chrome here, Miguel Vargas. Stars of Chrome insert. And we get a Sunny Gray. A couple more base cards here. I'm just going real quick. Some, we know we got lots of packs to be opening up, and I know the cards are flipped every which way, and it's really annoying to flip them around. I wish Tops would fix that, or Fanatics in the future, that is. And a couple more base cards to be working with, which is good. Oh, rookie combos out of 999. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Nick Vespi and Logan Gillespie, blue foil. Check that one out. Great shine to that one. That's a good looking card there. Very nice. I was really hoping it'd be a different Orioles rookie, but we'll take it. Maybe one of those guys throws a no hitter or does something crazy in the World Series. Who knows? But very nice. I like that parallel a lot. It's my first time seeing one of those. Adley Rushman rookie debut. That's a good one. Lots of Orioles. I mean, if you're an Orioles fan, this would be a good box to get. And we get an all aces card. This one's pretty cool. Tanner Bybee, rookie. Nice. I know he got some rookie of the year votes this past year. I'm a big Guardians fan, so obviously I follow him, but that's a really cool one right there. Set that one aside. We get a Brett Beatty, rookie. Some good rookies in here. Decent rookie class. James McCann on the Orioles. I forgot he played for the Orioles. And we're going to finish it out here. There's an Oscar Gonzalez, who's just traded to the Yankees. More base cards. We get a Strasburg that's flipped around. Uh, it's a blue parallel. I thought they only had these in Walmart, but we'll take a blue parallel. Another Zach Neto and a Justin Verlander ended out. We do have our silver pattern foil bar base cards. So let's go ahead and run this one through and we'll open up our two blasters right after this. So here we go. Let's see what we get. Wow, those look amazing. We got Acuna and Orlando Arcia. Nice one there. These cards look, do look amazing. We got Patrick Bailey. Let's see if we can get a big name player. These aren't numbered, but they are, uh, are a good looking parallel. Patrick Bailey rookie. Kenley Jansen. We've got a couple rookie pitchers here for Milwaukee. Then lastly, who's going to be? Looks like it's a red border. But I see a Brewer. It's going to be. <laughs> okay, Christian Yelich. Really Adames. Pretty cool. Good looking parallels there. Kind of nice. Like if you can get a good player. With one of these packs, that's really not bad. So here's what we got from the Super Box. We did get that Jumbo Zach Neto, and we did get this Jordan Walker uh, rookie pin. The pin is pretty cool. I'm not like a big Jordan Walker fan, but uh, kind of neat if you are a Jordan Walker fan. Here's a couple of the parallels that we pulled. A couple of the cool inserts here, a couple of rookies. Two serial numbered cards that we got. A nice Derek Jeter insert. So that's kind of the good stuff there. Did, did the box pay for itself? Likely not. A lot of fun to open up though. You do get a lot of variety. So I think it is worth it. For 40 bucks, it's not a bad deal. It's very exciting to open up uh, just casually or for having fun or whatever. Kind of a fun product to open up. Now let's go ahead and clean things up and open up our two blaster boxes. Okay, we got two blaster boxes to be opening up. We already seen what the cards look like for 2023 updates. So we're gonna fly through these boxes relatively quickly so we can get to all the cards. We can get to comparing to see which ones are better. Is it the super box or is it the blaster box? Again, I got these blaster boxes on discount for about 20 bucks each, which normally they go for about $25 each. So it's, is it a really good comparison? No, it's not a really big sample size that we're comparing the blaster boxes to the super boxes. We would have to do a bunch of these to see <laughs> which one yields better results. But again, it's just for fun. We have a 
a good way to compare these two right now. So let's just do it. Also, I mean, I know there's a really good rookie class for, for 2023 update this year, but I'm really curious as to who you guys are searching for in 2023 update. Comment down below which players you're looking for or trying to collect in 2023 update. Is there a certain parallel, certain player, certain team that you're looking for? I'd love to know. And if you comment down below, maybe I'll send you a few cards that might relate to your comment. So comment down below that. Here we go with our first blaster box to be comparing. We opened up everything all at once. So we're going to flip through them as we go here. Got lots of good rookies that we get out of 7.99. Another rookie showing up here. Ooh, a nice purple one. Espinoza and Koenig, Koenig for the Padres. A couple rookie pitchers there. Really nice parallel, my goodness. I know Topps is really overdoing it with the parallels, but that's still really nice. And look at this one. I've never seen this parallel. Check this one out. It's like an orange stripe. I don't even know what this one is. It's not numbered. But Wani Peralta. That's pretty nice. Two good parallels to start it out here. Let's keep it going and see if we can get another serial numbered card. I'm trying to read the names real quickly, see if we get any cool rookies. Obviously, we get a lot of these stars of MLB. There's a Tanner Bybee rookie. I like that one a lot. I'll set him aside. Nolan Gorman rookie. Yeah, we've got a card flipped around here. It's usually a good sign. It's not numbered. It's going to be a Mitch Garver hollow foil. Hollow foil is a classic parallel. We get an action stars. Freddie Freeman, first time seeing that insert. Set that one aside. We get a Hunter Green there. And we get another one. Another Mitch Garver here. This is... Let me read this box real quick for the brand new Golden Mirror Base Parallel cards. Maybe that's it? I don't know. Look for rare and limited parallels. Jack-o-lantern, ghost, mummy, black hat, witch hat, and bats. Are you serious? Who is making these parallels? Like, what is Tops? Is, what is going on? That's I don't really know which one that is. I'll put it on the screen which one it is. Uh, I think that's just the Golden Mirror, maybe. It's not super rare. We've pulled two of them already. There's a Grayson Rodriguez rookie. I was about to set that one aside, but maybe not. We get another one out of 999 here, Jason Hayward. There's a blue foil, blue speckle, not too sure. Good looking parallel there. We're doing, we're going crazy right now with these uh, blasters. A couple more inserts. All right, we'll pick up our last stack here and flip through them real quick. Seen some duplicate cards here, which is good. We get a Tristan Cass's royal blue parallel there. Lots of parallels coming in. James Outman. Get a, another one. It's like Golden Mirror. Interesting. Let's see what we got here. Juan Grissom. Dickerson. Jordan Walker rookie insert. Casey Schmidt. Turnbull. And a couple more base cards. We'll finish out here. Michael Bush rookie chrome. We get a time-spanning tandems, Tony Gwynn, Juan Soto. I mean, not not actually. <laughs> Soto was just traded to the Yankees, so not actually. We got a Hunter Brown. I'm guessing this is another gold. Yeah, it is. These gold mirror ones. Wow, we're getting lots of these gold mirror ones. So maybe the blaster is proving to be maybe a little bit better. We'll open up our second and final blaster box to see if uh, the blasters can pull away. We've only pulled a couple serial numbered cards, but nothing super low number. I think the lowest number was like 799. Let's see if we can get something a little bit lower in terms of serial numbering. See a Gunnar Henderson rookie right on top there, which is awesome. I want to see one of these like jack-o'-lantern and black cat. And I want to see those parallels. I'll have to look them up after the video to see what they look like if I don't pull one. Maybe I didn't show the odds well enough. Oh, they don't even print the odds in the packs anymore. That's crazy. Wow, they've taken the odds off the packs. That's wild. I didn't know that. I don't really know how I feel about that. <laughs> Making you go visit their website, do some extra steps. All right, well, we got our next stack of cards here, the last blaster box. Another Tanner Bybee rookie card. Al Francisco Alvarez rookie. It's a nice one there. We've got a Max Scherzer Chrome. And then we got a gold card here, Carlos Rodon Gold. Take that. James Mountain rookie, Kodai Senga. Rookie, oh nice, Kodai Senga rookie parallel here. That's 
a good one. We're getting lots of parallels, man. That's awesome. I'm thinking the blaster boxes is kind of pulling away here. You're in Judge rookie, or <laughs> not rookie. I wish it was a rookie. There's Jordan Walker rookie. Just get so many rookies in update. You just kind of get used to saying rookie. You know, from cards: David Wright, Pete Alonzo, time spanning tandems. Hunter Brown, rookie. We got a Michael Harris, rookie. Another gold foil. Gold foil? I don't really know. Gold mirror? I think that's what it's actually called. Let's see what else we can get in here. Kind of fun. I mean, I'm liking all the parallels. There's a Kodai Senga, rookie stars of MLB. Anything else that can pop up? Anything? Grayson Rodriguez, rookie. We got a Pete Fairbanks. Gold Mirror, Gunnar Henderson. I'll put that one aside. Another Zach Neto. So we got lots of these base cards here. Another Oscar Gonzalez, Adley Rushman, Wilson Contreras, stars of MLB. And we're gonna end it out. Anything big coming up? Grayson Rodriguez, rookie. Corbin Carroll, rookie. It's the first time seeing Corbin Carroll. Michael Garcia. It's a rookie. Rainbow foil. It's a nice one. Paul Goldschmidt, tops black gold. Sonny Gray, and then lastly, Randy Vasquez. So, obviously way more parallels coming out of the, the two blaster boxes there. So here's what we got from those two blaster boxes. Lots of rookies, lots of these mirror parallels. A couple gold parallels as well. We got the Jason Hayward out of 999. And we've got this purple one out of 799 of a couple rookies there. So a couple serial numbered cards from that blaster box. Here are all like the big cards compared to the super box over here. So you make the determination which box was better, which which route is better when doing uh, these box breaks. Personally, I would pick the blaster boxes, even though the super box is a bit more unique and a lot of fun. I think it's really only fun if you open it up once. The jumbo cards are, are kind of annoying in my opinion. I don't really like having those jumbo cards unless it's a player that I specifically collect. I mean, Zach Neto is not really a player I collect right now, so I don't really know what to do with that big jumbo card. Either of this Jordan, Walk Jordan Walker pin, even though it's a really cool pin. Let's see if we can get it focused here. It's a really cool pin, and I know it's a rookie year Jordan Walker pin, but I'm not a Jordan Walker collector, so I don't really know what to do with it. Kind of a cool concept, though, to change things up and spice things up in the hobby. So I definitely recommend trying it out at least once. But if you're trying to go for value and a bit more cards and a lot more parallels, definitely go with the blaster boxes, in my opinion, of course. But give it a try. Let me know your thoughts below if you tried the same experiment. But other than that, really appreciate you guys tuning in for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe for more sports card content to come. This has been Eagle Man, and I will see you guys next time.